kimonos! Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Look at all the money. It's money. I like this place actually. It sells a lot of old, uh, old bills. It's pretty cool. Check this out. Want to be a ninja? Here's your ninja stars. This place is pretty cool. 600 yen. Not bad. These here are like uh, ceremony swords, I guess you would use. Nunchucks. It's a pretty cool store. Even they got one that says Japan. <laughs> Senbei shop here and yeah it's just uh, again just a tourist trap to be quite honest get a lot of souvenirs a little bit pricey but what do you expect from a tourist area right Korean actually so this here beside me is um, basically a fortune telling costs 100 yen you uh, you shake it and uh, you get 
a stick with a number and you open that box up you'll get a piece of paper left you get number 99 or 49 or whatever you get and you'll get either a good fortune or a bad fortune you get a bad fortune just tie it on here hopefully that'll change your luck so the smoke here is uh, for healing and uh, basically just cover your body or you know whatever part you need healed hopefully it will here is the temple now when you come to a temple um, there's a little box that you throw money into you'll clap your hands you'll pray it's a buddhist style uh, most coins uh, if you use a coin with a hole in the middle goan or gojuan that's usually a sign of good luck. Again, you're cleaning and purifying yourself with the water. A lot of people wearing yukatas today. As, uh, Seems like these girls here are walking around taking pictures with all the foreigners. And uh, what's interesting at the gate of the shrine here is I didn't show you uh, the demon, the protect, protecting demons, but uh, you got the big shoe, the big sandal shoes on each side. Here, and there's the one on this wall here. Actually, on the front over in the corner, I'll, I'll walk around and show you, is the actual demons that protect the shrine itself. It says here, uh, this pair of huge traditional sh straw, yeah, straw sandals called, oh, here we go with my Japanese again, Owara, uh, here we go, Owaraji, has been made by 800 citizens of Murayama City. Murayama City is a city in Tokyo. Uh, in a month. Okay, it's Yamagata. Um, and devoted to Senshoji. Uh, it's made of 2,500 kilograms. Oh, it weighs 2,500 kilograms. And it's 4.5 meters high. Um, they are the charm against evil. Because they are symbolic of the power of Neo, wishing for good, being good walkers, many people will touch. So it says many people will touch. I'm gonna touch, and I will show you. So this here is the uh, one of the demons. This is the open mouth style. Um, it's 5.5 meters high, weighs about a thousand kilograms, and uh, it's basically protecting the gates of Senshoji Temple. Looks like ice cream. I think it's ice cream. Shaved ice? I don't know. Oh, shaved ice, kakigori. We're getting a mango shaved ice kakibori. Hot day, so why not? And once uh, we get in there, I'll uh, give you a quick peek as to what it looks like. Food, frozen fruit. And here we go. So, um, kakigori, shaved ice, sauce on top, snow cone, basically. But this here, this here, is they've taken frozen mango and shaved it. That's it. It's freaking awesome. I keep missing things here to show you guys. Um, Hiromi just pointed out a kabuki guy here. So, uh, 
It's pretty uh, ferocious. <laughs> Only in the Sakusa, isn't it? On. So if you ever come to uh, Sakusa, there you can take a rickshaw. Uh, they're all around. This corner here is basically where you can order it. You'll see all the guys standing around. They'll be standing around here, here, and behind me. Uh, you can. I don't know if you can negotiate price or not, but seriously, they're all basically lined up here. And they're all waiting. Basically, they're waiting for customers, kind of busking around, trying to uh, catch the foreigners. It's quite expensive. Uh, I just saw the uh, price for two people for the full tour. It was two hundred dollars. So a little bit pricey. And this here is a very famous, another famous place to uh, take pictures. So they're all camping out already, waiting probably another three hours or so until the fireworks start. And the fireworks are still about half a kilometer away. And people are just camping out, making sure that they get a semi-decent spot. But Hiromi and I, we're actually going to go right to the river and see what we can do. Samurai. It's an interesting day. So it's uh, it's pretty bad crowd control, and uh, yeah, it's 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 freaking chaos. found a spot uh, after a lot of searching um, not the greatest spot for us uh, but it's uh, gonna have to do um, so hopefully hopefully we can uh, I can show you some of the fireworks <laughs> 